Also at this hour, South Korea's government has issued an order for the striking truckers in the cement industry to return to work. The South Korean government has invoked tough strike-busting laws to end a six-day work stoppage by the truck drivers. The government has urged some of the truck drivers to return to work, insisting that their nationwide walkout over freight fare issues is hurting an already weak economy. South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol presided over a cabinet meeting earlier today to discuss issuing a start work order after the government failed to reach a deal with the unions on Monday. The decision marks the first time a South Korean administration has issued an order to force striking transport workers back to their jobs. The latest order further outlines that a failure to comply can lead to punishments such as cancellation of licenses and three years in jail or a fine of up to 22,000 US dollars. The strike is a second in less than six months and has disrupted the industrial activity at a time when Asia's fourth largest economy is expected to slow to a 1.7% growth next year, which is down from previous forecasts of 2.1%. However, despite the order, the unions plan to hold 16 rallies nationwide, demanding the government to expand the minimum pay system and make it permanent. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.